Good morning. Uh, I've been getting a couple of questions from my lecture last night on easements. So I wanted to sort of you a few things for some of you that uh, have some confusion about easements or you're studying for the state exam for this week. So first, let, let's define an easement. So an easement is the right to cross another's property, right? So very often, like here in the valley, you know, there's a house in the back and then a house in front. Sorry, I have very sloppy handwriting, but so for you to go across the driveway to get into their house, you may have an easement, the right to cross another's property. Also, uh, some wording that we need to clarify. You may see it defined as a non-possessory interest, non-possessory interest, meaning you have an interest in someone else's driveway. However, you don't own it. You have the right to cross that driveway, okay? So we may say an easement is the right to cross another's property. Now, we need to clarify three types of easements that you need to know for the state exam. The first is an easement appurtenant. Whenever you see that word appurtenant, it means it goes with the house. It runs with the land for the benefit of the land. So if you own a house and you have a house behind it or a house next to it and you have to and someone's got to cross your driveway to, to, to get to their house, they probably have an easement. Now you have one on your house, they have one on their house. Your easement says that you have to let them cross. Their easement says they have the right to cross. And since it's about land, it's attached to the land, we call that an easement appurtenant. The right to cross another's property to access your own. So that type of easement, we say it's real property, and when you sell the house or they sell their house, that right will go to the next person. However, they don't own your driveway, they don't have the right to build anything on their driveway, they have the right to cross it, okay? Um, the second type of easement I want you to know is easement in gross. That one is the right to cross, but not given to a, a, a property owner, it's given to an individual. Sometimes these are referred to as um, utility easements because the DWP or the gas company has the right to go in your backyard without having to ask you. That's an easement in gross. That's probably because they were given an easement in gross whenever that tract of homes got built. But that's personal property, personal property. Um, and then the third easement I want you to know about is what if you don't have an easement, right? And you need it because your house is here and there's another house there. And the only way you can get to your house is crossing this guy's house. And for some reason, maybe you were accessing it from over here, another street. And now the city has maybe done away with that street. So the only way you can get to your house is by using this guy's driveway, but he's not letting you. You may be able to go to court and get what's called an easement by prescription. Now, there's some requirements to do this. Number one, you have to use that guy's driveway in what we say open and notorious use, meaning anyone could tell you're using it. Hostile to owner. I mean, you don't have to get in a fight. It's just they're saying don't and you're doing it, right? So hostile to owner. You have some claim, some reason why, why are you doing this? And you're doing this for five years, five years. You could go to court and try to get an easement by prescription. Okay, so let's review. Easement appurtenant, it goes with the house, it's real property, it runs with the land for the benefit of the land. Easement in gross, considered personal property, it, it's the right of an individual to cross your land. Easement by prescription, you go to court to try to get this easement because you don't have it originally, okay? And again, all these easements can be defined as the right to cross another's land, and it's also considered a non-possessory interest. I mean, you don't, you don't have the right to possess the land, but you do have the right to cross it. Uh, a couple other things that we should clarify is the property that, that benefits is called dominant, dominant and the property that had to put up with it is called Serbian. So if you're this house that gets to cross this house, 
you're the dominant, and the servient is this one. So on the state exam, it might say that the property that is benefited from the easement is called dominant. I think I misspelled that. Dominant. Oh. Spell check me. But dominant is the property that benefits from that easement. The property that has to put up with it, the property that has to allow you to cross is the servient property. Okay, so let's recap. We have a easement appurtenant, real property. We have an easement in gross, personal property. We have an easement by prescription where you go to court to get. One more thing, uh, a license, like if I go, hey, come over, let's watch UFC fight night. And then I go, hey, get out of here. I can revoke a license, right? I can invite you over and I can revoke it. But an easement, once you have one of these, it's not revocable. It's a right that's not revocable. And dominant tenement or servient tenement, the dominant is the one that benefits from, from the right to cross. The servient is the one that has to allow. Okay, I hope this cleared it up and uh, I'll see you in class.